I have the pleasure of working with this standard poodle today. When I enrolled in dog grooming school, I specifically told them that I wasn't interested in learning how to groom fancy dogs like poodles. It's ironic that poodles are one of my favorite dogs to work with. Since then, I've learned not to believe anything that I believe. The part of the grooming process that usually takes the longest is drying. A major factor in the amount of time it takes is the humidity. It's sunny and clear today. The humidity is 54% and that's kind of low for this area. The air conditioner helps to clear the humidity out of the trailer, but when you're starting at a lower level already, it reduces the drying time significantly. I'm removing as much hair as I can in the shortest amount of time. I'm not worried about making it look good. That comes later. You can't see it in the video, but the first thing I noticed on this dog today was the crud all around the corners of her eyes. I've been dying to clean that up. I knew the bath would take care of some of it, and the rest is getting clipped away now. So satisfying. Look at how calm she is. I'm always amazed at the trust that dogs put in us. I've done this thousands of times and I'm an expert with this tool, but she doesn't know that. In the pre-clip, I was working fast without worrying about what anything looked like. Now in the finished clip, I'm going to make everything look as good as I possibly can. I'm using a greyhound comb to check that I've removed all the mats. The comb wouldn't go through the tail. It's normal for tails to be tangled up. There are mat splitting tools made specifically for this purpose, but I prefer to use a pair of scissors. It's something I always have handy, it does the same job, and I don't have to maintain an extra tool. Since I'm working on the tail, and I already have a pair of scissors handy, I'm going to go ahead and finish her tail now. The goal is to scissor it in the shape of a ball.
Dogs that grow long hair on their face have hair along their lip line that ends up getting in their mouth. I'm sticking my finger under her lip to flip out the hair that's already in her mouth and shaving it away. It's traditional to shave all the hair off a of poodle's feet. That's usually called poodle feet. This client requested the way I'm doing it here, round feet, where you scissor them into a round shape instead of shaving all the hair off. This dog is joyful to be around. Most poodles are this great. There are very few exceptions. When someone has a dog that's a poodle or part poodle and I ask them for instructions on how they want their dog groomed, can you guess what the most common answer is? Don't make it look like a poodle. I'm looking forward to seeing this dog again next month. I'm dusting her off with the high velocity dryer so she doesn't drop hair clippings all over her house when she goes in. Living my best life.